today there there was a um, there was a news story that came out that said that uh, Russell Westbrook's wife was going at Skip Bayless and then uh, you know going after the fans for I guess she was receiving death threats, death wishes. So now I jumped on Twitter because as you guys know, you guys have heard it on this show year after year after year. I always say whatever our opinions are, keep it here. Don't leave outside the arena. Don't don't at and when I mean the arena, I mean this discussion, you know, where we're having this platform, this platform for us to have our takes. Don't at these players, don't at these families, because now you're crossing the line. You know, these are still this despite these players' struggles or, or great performances, these are still world class elite basketball players. So it's always my opinion that once you cross that line and go at them, now you're disrespecting that craft. You know what I'm saying? Like that it's it's a level that we'll never be able to reach. And so I don't take it that way and I don't advocate for people to take it there with these players. So I came out with a tweet and said, look, this is disgusting behavior. Uh, you know, we, we can't have it and, and keep it inside the arena. Now, I leave the house, bro. Come back home, getting ready to, to, to finish the second half of the night. And I get a notification from Julius's wife. Who basically, you know, try to, in, in a sarcastic way, question the sincerity of my tweet by basically saying, uh, do you, as if to say, do you keep these comments in my arena? Now, my reply to that was basically, you know, personally, yes, I do. You know, I don't come at them personally i don't add her i don't add julius i don't jump in d i don't do any of that so i said yeah personally i don't and i told her i said look if you have receipts of me doing that feel free to share it feel free to share it All right now she claps back and she says uh a whole joke you and everyone else like you creates a narrative that causes the pain that we go through save your bs sympathy tweet LOL. I replied back. I said, look, I'm not sure what narrative I created. Sports commentary has been here since the beginning of time. How's what I'm doing any different? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I don't take shots. She says, it's not about that. You create a negative narrative to try to pit players against each other, bro. Which contributes to what goes on and what fans think. You can't dog my husband and other players for the past three years then act like you care what families go through. And so my final reply, because bro, I'm, I'm not trying to go back and forth with somebody like this, because in their mind, they already have their impressions of what we do here. There is a backstory to all of this, which I'm aware of. So I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm not even gonna continue this back and forth tirade on Twitter because it, nobody's going to win. And so at the end of the day, I said, look, there's bad apples in all aspects of society. I've said several times on this platform that I don't support or condone the toxicity of the fans of people going at each other or people getting personal with plays and wives. And I said, look, the whole tirade at me is misguided. And the whole thing about, you know, I can't be sympathetic to what these players and their families are going through i have a kid myself i have a family you know what i'm saying why why would i want to see people getting death threats over sports bro so i just left it at is as is i said look despite everything i wish them well and i do bro it is god's honest truth because this is just sports when he's playing well i come on here and i talk about it in a positive way when he's playing bad, I come on here and I talk about it in that way. The fans respect authenticity, and this is what we give them every night. This is why we have thousands of people watching us every night. It's not about coming here to watch us, you know, go off the rails and be toxic and be derogatory. No, people want a fair, honest take on the game. And this is why this is what we do, and this is why we have the amount of people that come in here and watch every night. 
yes, callers will come in. We'll have our Debbie Downers. We'll have fun. Da 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 da. You know, we'll have our usual cast of characters. Always in respect. Always within the boundaries. If people overstep those boundaries, you're out. This is a family show, bro. I mean that. So I don't accept derogatory language. I don't accept cursing. I barely, somebody on Twitter made a good point. That was like, bro, you don't even read super chats that are toxic. And I don't. There's super chats that come in and say, oh, I wish so-and-so would stay injured. I wish so-and-so would get COVID. I don't even read that, bro. And they spent money. You know what I'm saying? Now, as I've told people before, Julius doesn't rock with the channel. That's no secret. Whatever it was, the criticism that's, that's came out of this platform over the years, he's watched it. He's caught wind of it. He watches the show. He didn't, he didn't like it. He didn't want to come on and do the interview. That's fine, bro. We, I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need Julius to come on to make this, this, this platform successful. This is a show that's going to be built for the fans, by the fans. It's going to continue before Julius, after Julius. That's it. So, so that's okay. So when people, you know, were saying that, you know, her energy was kind of misguided or she added the wrong person. Nah, this thing has kind of been, been brewing for a little while. But nevertheless, as a public figure in sports, it's a spectator sport. It comes with the territory, the criticism, not the toxicity, not the derogatory language. The criticism comes with the territory. This is what you signed up for. I come on my platform, I call it like it is, I sign off, and I continue with my life. I don't continue that afterwards outside of my arena, and I don't advise or, or support people that do. But for her to come at me like I'm supposed to be like the toxic fan police, like I can't do that. I can't spend my energy on that. And at the end of the day, I've said it several times, I said it when Ash was on the show, these people choose... Make the choice to go on social media for whatever reason, business, personal, whatever. If people are coming at you in that way, I don't support that. I feel bad. That's not how we should be living. But it's your choice. You can log off. Or if you have to be on, you can change your privacy settings, bro. It's that easy. Go take a look at some of these Knicks players on Instagram, on, on other platforms. You can't even reply to anything that they post. They have it under control. They have it under lockdown. So why is that any different? Why can't anybody else do that? Why is that impossible for you? Again, I feel bad, but you have options. Don't come to me and say, oh, you have influence and you're just creating all these narratives and pitting all these plays against each other. Because that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing. That they're doing on MSG. My guy Stephen A jumps out the window every single day that he can about the Knicks. You don't hear nothing about that. You don't hear nothing about that, bro. I'm doing the same thing that they do on every single platform. I'm speaking about the game. And it's even better here because we're, we're not a hot take platform, bro. We're not hot takes. We're, we're, not, about, we're not about generating stories and hot doubt. That's them. That's Skip. That's Stephen. They're there for that. We're not here for that. We talk about the game. We talk about the news. We talk about the rumors. Simple and plain. But it is, and it's not always going to be rosy. That just is what it is. It's not always going to be rosy. But when it's good, it's good. Because when I went on Kellerman for eight weeks straight, chopping his head off, what was I talking about? Julius, the MVP. Julius, the MIP. Julius is cooking. Julius, the all-star. Julius, all-NBA. Julius is better than Porzingis. We barely had a good record. Come on, bro. <laughs> you were out there on national Come TV. on, bro. Cool. You know, some people thought you you looked crazy out yeah, there doing that. going crazy for this team and, and going to bat for them. So, again... I don't bring those type of, that, that fringe element, but there's fringe elements everywhere, bro. We can't control it. That's playing whack-a-mole. I can't do that. I can't do that. And, and the whole Brody thing with his wife, bro, I know Brody's brother-in-law personally. So when I seen that story, when she wanted to say, oh, how can you be so sympathetic? I know the, the Brody's wife's brother. I know him personally, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? So this is that's a whole other thing. So I'm I'm making a, a a reaction to that as a commentator, but also as somebody who knows the family through six degrees of separation. So that that that's just all I'm saying, bro. Like we this, but the, but here's the thing that that doesn't sit well with me is you yourself have a platform, and you coming out making these remarks about my platform we still trying to build we still trying to grow that can negatively impact what we're doing and that's not right i understand what they're going through this is a tough year for them and you know look bro i went to bat for them even this year when people used to call in after he had his kid and people like oh what's what's going on is it is it the newborn is it this and that bro i would never even entertain those conversations because that's not the lane that I'm trying to dwell in. I don't care. If, like, just leave that family stuff alone, bro. I have a kid. I'm very protective about kids. I even made the remark that, like, I felt like the all, all the attention that his kid was getting was kind of cringeworthy to me. I made that remark because I'm very protective over kids and the internet and 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 how people carry on, bro. I said that on this show. I said that on Twitter. So. You know, and, and look, it's going to be expected, man. We're growing. We're, 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 we're a growing platform is going to get even bigger. And, and when that happens, problems arise. Criticism comes at you. It is what it is. You expect it. And so you, you carry forward. The good thing is, is that we have a tremendous amount of support and, and people um, support this platform respectfully and came to bat for me respectfully. And I definitely appreciate everyone that did that. But at the end of the day, I got to stand up for this because the, the, you know, statements that this is, oh, this is just a, a toxic place and you guys are sending all these fans, you're generating narratives. That's not what we do here. That's not what we do. And anybody that watches a show night in, night out knows that. We can't, we can't contain that fringe element. I can't control that. I can't go through everybody's replies and everybody's Instagram replies and, hey, hey, stop doing this. Hey, stop doing that. Yeah, I could do a PSA, but where, where is that really going to go? People are going to do what they do behind a keyboard, behind a screen. This is social media. This is the World Wide West. It's getting, it's getting worse and worse. So, again, I'll close with this. My advice is stay off. Or just change your privacy settings so that the people that you don't want to hear from don't contact you. Simple and plain, bro. And that's it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop this whole thing. And that's just it, bro. That's just it, bro. <sighs> I mean, I don't know, I don't know what anything I can add to to, to everything that you said. I think you covered everything. Um in you know, from from one to one, one to ten, A to Z. Uh, you know, and, and I get, I would get her frustration. You know, as I was telling you, you know, she's, you know, we see it on TV. She's going to the games. So, you know, as you mentioned, he's had a tough year, and I know maybe the in-game experience that that she's seeing, you know, with some sometimes with the booze, the, the, the thumbs down, and all that stuff, probably is a little buildup. You know, sure. Probably is a little build up. She probably was, you know, frustrated about about that, and and you know, it's 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 been tough. Like you said, we that part we can't control. Um, and and in terms of the platform, I firmly, there's so many reasons why we say number one show for the fans by the fans, and I firmly believe this is the number one platform because of the interaction with the fans. But you know, the analysis we give here is 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 I think it's a balanced panel it's a balanced team everyone has different perspectives but it all is around substance you know um you see me i've criticized certain players uh but when they play well i also give them their flowers i don't make excuses when they play well right you know um so and we have fun with it with the bergs high right. and all that stuff but we always make sure to highlight their accomplishments Look at the way we started the show today. You know, I talked about all the stats um, that Randall did, um, and and I think you 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 did it, you handled it great by take you know handling this last, not making it about that to start the show. Yeah, and let's talk. And this is what we do. 
you know um and this is why we like to think that you know fans love to support this this platform and this channel and as you mentioned cp you know as you grow people watch everybody tunes in and you know when it comes to the knicks community knicks fan tv rings bells man and and and, and people watch and so you know sometimes the weight of the good and the bad we may have to shoulder it just because of it comes with the territory. Yeah. Uh, but one thing that will remain consistent is our consistency and how we evaluate players um, and how we give our opinion. And it's never going to change, bro. And there's several players that that watch and whose family watch. And, and we're just going to keep it real as we see it. You know what I'm saying? As we see it. That's all. And it's always going to be with, with respect. Play well. We'll talk about it. Play not so well. We're going to talk about it either way. But we try to have constructive uh, uh, conversations. As you said, conversations of substance. And we try to have fun with it. That's all we're trying to do. So, again, we, we don't condone that type of behavior. But we're also, I don't believe that we're driving that either. So it just is what it is. Man.